In this example, we review two key graphs, sine x and cos x, and also summarise some really important values which you need to know off by heart. Now then, sine and cos link to angles, and on both of these graphs, we go from naught to 360 on the x axis. Naught, 90, 180, 270 and 360. And the graph goes up to 1 and down to minus 1. So these are the key labels to remember before we start to sketch the graph. Then what happens is, is that sine and cos are both waves or wave type graphs. Now sine x starts at the origin and then obeys a really simple pattern. At 90 it goes up to 1, it goes back down to 0 at 180, it goes to minus 1 at 270 and back to 0 at 360. Then all you've got to do is to sketch a wave going through these key points. Only a sketch, but it indicates the shape of the graph. Now the cos graph is really similar. It's got the same key values. And again it goes up to 1 and down to minus 1. The only difference is, is that cos, rather than starting at the origin, it starts at 1. It sort of starts at this point of the graph on the side. It then goes down to 0, then down to minus 1, then back to 0, and back up to plus 1. It's the same shape graph. So it goes like so. And again, only a sketch just to indicate how cos x looks. Now within that, we've also got to know some key values, which I'm going to summarise in a quick table. So if we imagine sine x and cos x, and the angles 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90, we need to know for the examination what sine and cos x actually equal at these values. And memorise this before the examination. Now we know that sine starts at zero. So we can put a zero here. And we know that sine of 90 is one. So I can put all one in here. But between naught and one, the graph rises up. And at these key values, there are some thirds that you need to know and memorise. And it's as follows. A half. Root 2 over 2. And root of 3 over 2. And this is not too hard to memorise. They're all over 2. And it goes 1 2, 3 on the numerator with a square root because even root of 1 is 1 so it's like root 1, root 2, root 3 and we must learn those now the nice thing here is that cos is almost the same it just goes backwards so where a sign goes up cos goes down so cos starts at 1 and ends at 0 then we just write in these key values the other way. So 1, root 3 over 2, root 2 over 2, and a half. And again, for the examination, they could ask a question involving any of these key values without a calculator. So again, learn the graphs and also learn these key values as certs.